Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and my name is Siri and welcome back to another video. So this video is based on a comment that I've received on my channel and I promised my subscriber that I will definitely make a video on this topic that he has suggested which is a very common topic and a very relatable topic to every English learner out there I feel because when you are in this journey of learning English it is very much obvious for you to face situations where people laugh at you when you speak in English or when you are speaking in English or practicing English there are going to be a lot of people out there who tell you that okay you're showing off by speaking in English why do you have to speak in English and people doesn't understand the importance of English and they tease you even sometimes and I completely understand that I completely emphasize with you because I myself have been through those situations in my life because of course when you do not come from an English medium background or when you do not come from a family who doesn't speak a lot of English in daily life when you speak English or when you start to speak in English they're going to be like oh my god you are just showing off you think that you know a lot of English in Telugu they say as he mentioned in my comment that we uh, so you keep hearing such things whenever you are in the journey of learning English. So I have my set of solutions to suggest to all of you in this video. So make sure you follow them all to get rid of this problem. There are different ways of dealing with this problem in my opinion because um, as I told you, I myself have been through these situations and I know how to deal with them. One is when people are teasing you, when people are telling you that you are showing off or you are just trying to act posh to be fluent in English just do not let that enter your mind now I know it's easier said than done I completely understand that because when I say it it sounds very easy but I know how it feels when you are in that particular situation what I used to do is when someone is teasing me I used to feel sorry for them that you know what kind of mindset do they have I used to think that Oh my god they have such a negative mindset that means if they are teasing you if they are laughing at you they don't know how to speak in english so you should feel pity for them that you know oh my god you don't know how to speak in english you are teasing me you are trying to tell me that i'm showing off while speaking in english maybe it's time for you to learn how to speak in english maybe that is how you need to deal with that particular situation because when someone is in the journey of learning english when someone knows how to speak in english that person is never going to tease you or that person is never going to laugh at you because they know what kind of difficulties that one faces in the journey of being fluent in english when someone knows how to speak in english they never tease you or they never even correct you because all they focus is on the level of understanding are they able to understand everything that you say that's all that's what they focus on they do not focus on oh my god they are speaking mistakes or oh, now we are supposed to laugh at them tease them and all they don't focus on that at all so you have to feel sorry for them it's their mindset it's their mistake it's not your mistake at all in fact you should feel proud of yourself that you have taken this decision of being fluent in english and you are continuing with it no matter how many difficulties you have faced so you should be proud of yourself instead of hiding yourself somewhere so the only solution i give to everyone whoever comes up with this problem is that if someone is teasing you or laughing at you or saying anything to you all that should not enter your mind is what i would say because the desire that you have should be stronger than the insult that you take is what i completely believe in if the desire for you to be fluent in english is very much stronger than the insults that you get or the laugh that you get from people or if people are teasing you that will not enter your mind at all because the desire the desire for you to be fluent in english is stronger than that that particular thing is going to dominate everything that people are going to tell you so what i would suggest you all is to have a strong desire to be fluent in english is to make your goal to be very very strong the only thing that has helped me in my entire journey of being fluent in english is to 
put my goal forward than anything else i don't care if uh people are laughing at me i i don't care if i'm making a lot of mistakes while speaking in english i don't care if i'm using simple english what matters to me the most is to be able to communicate in english is to able to survive and to not to miss out on any opportunity which requires me to speak in english so this is a goal that i have made very very stronger in my mind so anything that comes in front of this i'm pretty sure goal is going to dominate that particular insult and to be honest uh there were few situations in my life uh, where uh, people have told me in the journey of learning english when i've started my journey of learning english there were a lot of people in my life who told me that you know you are completely wasting your time by learning how to speak in english or by learning communication skills don't you th- don't you think that you are wasting your time by speaking in english now imagine if i cared about all that stuff back then i would have stopped learning english i would have stopped communicating in english and today i would not have had this channel and i would not have had you as a part of my family today so imagine all those insults are definitely not going to help you if you take them seriously so of course it takes time for you to build a mindset where you would stop taking them seriously start with it make it a habit to not to care anything that they say your goal has to be stronger i'm telling you so when people told me that why are you even working on your fluency i said it's important for me okay it might not be important for you but it's important for me and today when i am able to speak in english when i have this channel where i tell you all how to be fluent in english they come up to me and tell me that you know tell us how to be fluent in english tell us how to improve communication skills so you know you should never stop your journey just because someone is teasing you or just because someone is laughing at you that is a way of disrespecting your journey you should have plenty of respect to your journey because i believe a lot in respect and respect is very important to me so if i am taking a decision if i am taking a if i am taking a risk i will definitely respect it if i am deciding to be fluent in english i am going to respect it to the core yes i respect it by being disciplined to it by being consistent and by not caring about what other people are going to talk about me when it comes to this particular point so the same thing i would like to suggest you as well have respect towards your goal have that respect towards your decision because if you don't respect your decision when the other person laughs at you or teases you you will be like oh my god why did i even take this decision that is how you your mindset is going to be and i feel in this journey of being fluent in english you do not even learn how to be fluent in english you you would even learn how you are supposed to build your mindset and mindset is a very important thing mindset is like everything to achieve anything in your life so this is what i would like to tell you that please don't care what people are going to think about you you should be least bothered about it in fact you should feel sorry for them that what kind of mindset they possess like they are spreading negativity and you should feel happy that you are not one of them you're trying to do something good for yourself so you should be extremely happy about it and you should respect your goal that is very very important and your desire has to be stronger than the laughs or the insults that you get so it should dominate everything and one day when you keep going and when you keep going people who laughed at you are going to come to you and ask you how did you do it and that day you're going to be very happy for the fact that you respected your goal and you sticked with your goal no matter what people have told you so this is the only solution i can give to all of you although it sounds boring but boring solutions actually work so i would recommend all of you to give it a try because this is what has worked in my case so yeah please give it a try and and i hope i have answered your question you commented uh, saying this to me that i hope i have answered this question to you and it's completely all right it's completely all right if people are laughing at you it's okay that is not something that you have to care continue with your journey and uh, trying to learn new sentences every day trying to practice listening writing speaking and reading every day that is what you should stick with no matter what so yes i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i hope you guys have learned something out of this video and do let me know if there's any such situation that you have faced in your life when it comes to being fluent in english i would love to know that and i would love to know how you have dealt with that so 
i'll be waiting for your comments so i'll see you guys in my next video till then you take care i will see you soon bye